Following the first ever total beach renourishment project here on Sanibel, many beachgoers ask how that affects our sea turtles. I'm Fox 4 meteorologist Andrew Shipley, and I came out to Sanibel to learn about a new study that the Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation is doing into how different characteristics of sand affect the emergence of our baby sea turtles. Earlier this year, the city of Sanibel completed the renourishment of every single beach on the island after Hurricane Ian surge eroded many of them. During the project, 400,000 tons of sand was trucked in from a quarry in Moorhaven, but that can impact our coastal wildlife. Turtles and shorebirds alike rely on these sandy beaches to lay and incubate their eggs. SCCF's Coastal Wildlife Director Kelly Sloan and her team are looking into how different sand characteristics can affect our sea turtle nests. You know, a lot of what happens inside that egg is genetic, but a lot of it's environmental. Since 2021, 111 nests have been outfitted with temperature, moisture and water level loggers on both Sanibel and Captiva. What we found in some of our preliminary research is that the elevation associated with beach renourishment projects can warm up the nests and, and that can cause some impacts. And if the nest is too hot, the embryos can die. But a warmer nest in general can also lead to more females being born. And an elevation change can also lead to less moisture in the nest. Our beaches are getting really hot these days. We've all experienced that. And um, some cooling effect from either overwash or groundwater might be beneficial in some cases. But you also don't want too much water in the nest either. That's where beach renourishment might be helpful. For Sloan, it's about finding the happy medium for our turtles, especially when SCCF has found a 20% reduction in hatchlings on Captiva versus non-nourished stretches on Sanibel since 2014. So the fact that we're seeing more nests on our beaches is really promising, and it's a tribute to decades of conservation efforts. Efforts. But we also need to be putting hatchlings out in the sea to maintain that. And of those hatchlings, only one in a thousand will make it to adulthood, stressing the importance of giving the hatchlings the best chance in life. On Sanibel, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.